so man. in this video I'm gonna talk about <clears throat> controlling your happiness in a relationship So controlling your happiness in a relationship. I see a lot of people deal with this also where they don't like the person they with. They thought about seeing other people. They even said it. A lot of arguing, a lot of built up anger. And when good times come around like birthday parties, going out to eat, chilling with friends, watching the movie it's like all that just disappeared like the arguing you know all the stuff i just said and i seen it growing up in my family where people acting like because it's a fam family gathering people acting like they don't hate this person have a grudge against this person like this person didn't say i was gonna kill you like this person said i ain't like you you know, a whole bunch of whole bunch of evil stuff. And when good times come or a good day come, you know, people so quick to act like, you know, um, like we don't have problems, like that we that we don't have issues. And that's our, how we are programmed to think because we grew up seeing that. We watch TV and couples doing that. In reality, if you make me mad again, you make someone mad again, they're going to end up fighting you or killing you or hurting you or doing something destructive because that anger is still built up. Now, controlling your happiness in a relationship is when good days come, when y'all go, go out to eat. Basically being real, basically not being fake. Basically not acting like everything's okay and everything's not okay. Just keeping it real. You know, keeping the same um, demeanor. You know, keeping the same tone of voice. You know, letting that person know, hey, look, let's not pretend that our relationship is good. You know, even when you break up to them, they be like, why you want to break up? Oh, blah, blah, blah. I love you and stuff like that. Like, hold on. Let's not act like we've been arguing for this amount of time. Let's not act like we wanted to see different people, at least one of us. Let's not act fake. Let's keep this, keep it real. But that person might like your company. That person may like the good times or good days that they had with you and will, will make them want to keep you. But you, on the other hand, may feel like, no, I'm done with it. I want to move on. You know, I don't want to stay in this relationship. I'm unhappy. And a lot of people will force you to stay in a relationship when you're not happy with that person just because uh, that person loves you or happy with you or like you or is able to get over, um, basically numb down and obliterate all the bad things y'all went through or you felt against that person. Let's say if that person said a whole bunch of hateful things to you, you had people who just throw that over their shoulder. You know, until it happens again, argument is back to the same rotation. So controlling your happiness in a relationship is basically being true to yourself, being real. Like you don't got to smile because the family around. You don't got to be um, jumping around being joyful because you're out bowling or skating or playing pool or at a party. You know what I'm saying? Being real to yourself, like, you know, just being cool. Just being normal, straight face. Basically not putting on an act like you happy. And you're really not. So, because I see a lot of people do that for years and years and years. And they still, and I see people that still together to this day because they put on that um, fake happiness in their relationship. When they knew they not happy at all, they been gone. But caring about, at times, it's going to be hard times where you're going to have to pray about it. And ask God to help you. And there's going to be a lot of times 
where you're going to have to think about yourself and not just the other person. Because as soon as that person said, oh, I love you, I want to be with you, we did all this, you know, crying and fussing and all that other stuff, it makes you feel sad. It makes you feel bad. So you have to get yourself prepared for that day to come to stand your ground because you don't want to be in something that you're not happy in. That's just plain fact. I mean, if that person lonely or can't find nobody else, that's just got to be. But, you know, life and stuff happens. Like, I made previous videos about being compatible. And when you're not compatible with somebody, being equal with somebody, it really uh, destroys uh, a relationship. You know, you don't want to be down the line and end up having to cheat on your marriage. Cheat on that person. Hurt that person. Uh, cut that person. Shoot that person. Choke that person. And you end up in a bad situation that it could cost you your life and eternal salvation with Christ. So you want to think about those things and you want to take those things into heed. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to look at the good days. You got to think about those bad days. You want to look at the whole outcome, the big picture of the thing, not just half of the picture. If you look at half of the picture, you're going to keep on going in the same cycle, dealing with this person, dealing with this person, dealing with the person, cheating with this person, back with this person. You know what I'm saying? And eventually you're going to interrupt. But nobody should be in a relationship where they're not feeling compatible or being ha and not happy with that person. Because life is too short for that. But, yeah, you just have to be strong. You have to be true to yourself. And understand when those good days come, be real. You don't got to smile in front of people. You know what I'm saying? Brother, friends, you know, he or she may put on that persona like everything's cool. But you know everything's cool. And you don't got to act like nothing is cool. You know what I'm saying? Because people, a lot of people don't understand your relationship and your problems. And a lot of people have been through it but still don't understand it. Still don't know how to help people get out of it. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're not happy, get out of it. If you want to be with somebody, get out of it. It may, it depends on if you marry or not. You may have property or house and stuff. It may jeopardize your money, your wealth, you know, your 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 uh, kids or jobs or anything like that. But it's the risk you got to take. You know what I'm saying? If you're not serving the Lord, you're not thinking about those things. You're like, well, I'm just going to cheat on my wife. You know, I'm just going to do this and do that. Because you're not serving the Lord. You're not having Christ on your mind. So you're not caring about that. Even though um, the Lord don't like bad uh, breakup marriages. But when you are, your mindset is on Christ. You want to do it the right way. If it so happened that you had to get divorced, you want to be by yourself, be by yourself. You meet somebody else and you're happy, you know, it's that. You got to understand that that, soul, that person's soul in life is they're accountable for their own actions. You know what I'm saying? And the whole thing, right, you want to do things the right way. You don't want to make the Lord upset and mad and angry at you. You know what I'm saying? You know. When you don't have him in your life, you know, you don't believe in God, do all the other extra stuff. It really don't matter to you. You know what I'm saying? But when you are, it does matter a lot. So controlling your happiness in a relationship, you know, it's being real. Be true to yourself. Not acting fake. You meet someone better, you meet someone you interested in, try, see if it's going out. You know, if it works out, then you got to make a decision and sacrifice to kick that person out your house or you move out, you find your own place, split up the money, and et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? You can't have a mindset. Another thing, too, people got a mindset, oh, I'm not going to find nobody better. You have no faith, no hope. And, and you know, you don't have hope in the man in general. And then when you want to have hope in God, then you just totally abolish. So people stay in their uh, breakdown relationships, keep fixing their broken car that's like uh, 30 or 40 years old. You know what I'm saying? Keep fixing it, fixing it, breaking it down. So you don't want to be those people either. You know what I'm saying? And... I ain't saying you 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 can't keep a contact with them, be their friend with them, but you gotta come to agreement, understand as grown, supposedly grown people, mature people, people that have wisdom, say, hey, look, I'm not happy. You know, I want to move. I know you love me, but you know, I'm seeing I like this other person. I you know, I just want to try something else. This is gonna get to a point where it's gonna be dead. It's gonna be like 9/11. Like both buildings, both of the people just gonna come crashing down, or one gonna come crashing down. And what do you do when you? fully depressed and stressed out of your mind don't have you don't know what to do you know what i'm saying like because you're so busy worrying about that person at times you're going to worry about yourself worry about how you feel what you want what's best for you it's going to be times you have to do that and you and it's going to be a very hard decision but you're going to have to do that and that's just life 
But yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, controlling your happiness in a relationship is very important. Be true to yourself. Be real. You don't got to fake. Put on no persona. Act like somebody you not. That's basically what this whole video is about. But thank you guys for watching. Tune in. You see me next video.